project issues so uh, it is right here and you see here some little bug icon and counting of your project issues uh, let's click on it and we will see that we have actually two types this is warnings and errors so uh, if you have some warnings it uh, could be uh, they are not critical and your application basically will build correctly and it will work but sometimes you might have issues if you have warning so with the errors here I have no errors right now let me let me do real, real quick one thing so for example I have client detail page right here and I know that I have parameter but for example if I will delete this parameter right here how much errors I will get so remove confirm and nothing happens okay oh right here so I have 27 errors right here just deleting one parameter so now let's try to uh, work with that and to see different types of errors so uh, we have different types of errors so it might be a, uh, error with parameters it might be Firestore query when you have problems with the database component parameters etc 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 but one really interesting thing and how to work with errors uh, and project issues correctly just try to read the message really read the message and understand what it says because sometimes it's really simple thing and my students uh, can ask me about this about this error you know just read the message for example parameter client ID passed by container to client detail page doesn't exist which is make sense we've deleted it but interesting thing that you can click on it and you will uh, move to the uh, place where you have qu query on that parameter or the place that uh, this error appears so for example I have uh, actions here and this that is that particular error so if I will click here we see that client ID non exist and this problem with parameter so let's go try the next error so if we have uh, something with Firestore qu query for example I'll click on it and I see that on this com container I have a uh, backend query that using the parameter that I've deleted before so and I need to fix that to make my application work so that's how you can use these uh, project errors and while you will be fixing all this uh, errors the count will will go down and one more thing if you have errors in your project you will not be able to use run or test mode you will not be able to test your application before you fix your errors in, in your application that's basically it about project issues and warning